Man, you guys, I am exhausted. So let's talk about exhaustion, which is a combat result in With It or On It. Um, now first, I should say that it helps to think of each wing as a single entity that's made up of multiple counters and steps, rather than thinking of them as individual units. I don't call them units, you know, each, each uh, piece of cardboard here a unit anyway, but think of it that way, and that'll help you kind of understand how losses, or what is called in this game, exhaustion, uh, is a result. So each of these individual units uh, can be fresh, or it can be exhausted. When it's exhausted, it's... Let's flip this one instead. No, nope, hang on. When it's exhausted, it's flipped over to the side with the stripe. An exhausted unit cannot move and cannot fight. It can try to rally, flip back up to its uh, full strength fresh side where it can do things, but uh, it can't do anything else. Uh, now, here is the thing. Just because a unit suffers an exhaustion result doesn't mean that unit has to suffer that exhaustion result. If this unit is attacked and becomes exhausted, that's the result on the CRT, he could suffer the result, or maybe this guy can. Any unit adjacent to him that's friendly and fresh can suffer that exhaustion result. Now maybe he gets attacked again, so you know what, I am going to suffer that exhaustion result. I am going to flip over. And because it had another time, because attacking an exhausted unit gives you a bonus to your combat class. So this guy's like, yeah, I'm definitely going to attack that guy that's exhausted. Maybe he'll flip this guy over, right? But eventually you run out of guys to take the losses. When that happens, the unit is going to be eliminated. And when a unit is eliminated, we do what's called a route check. We're going to look at all the units in all your wings. And if they are adjacent to at least two other units they pass the route check, or if they are uh, adjacent to a unit that satisfies that condition, they pass the route check. These two units don't pass that route check, so they also are eliminated. Instead of scoring just two VP for eliminating this guy, we're gonna score two, four, six. We've had a major break in the line there. And that is one of the main major differences in this game compared to the medieval games. You can have these situations where you have this sudden catastrophic break in your line. Um, you're pushing and pushing and trying to wear them down, wear them down, until you finally get that, that decisive moment and everything hinges on it. And for me that's really exciting. Something else that's really exciting is that some of the units are brittle units, so if they suffer a loss they got two stripes on the reverse side and they're eliminated automatically when that happens, so they, they don't have the stamina or the determination to keep going, they're just, they're just gone. That also triggers a route check. And you know how many brittle units you have in your line, but you don't know where they are in your line. That's randomized each game. And so there's a lot of unpredictability there. You're not quite sure who on your in your line you can depend on and where you can safely take a loss. That makes it a lot swingier than the medieval games, a lot more dramatic and dynamic and uh, for me a lot more exciting. Uh, so that is a quick look at how exhaustion works in with it or on it. I've been talking a long time. That guy has his lawnmower. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs>